Okay, so now let's do some more multiplication of polynomials, and this is going to be using binomials. And so what the textbook shows you is the, using the FOIL method, okay? But realize the FOIL method is just using the distributive property twice, okay? So it's the exact same thing that I showed you in the previous video. It's just that they call it the FOIL method because you do the first two, then you do the outside two, and then you do the inside two, and you do the last two. But it's exactly the same thing process that I just did in the last video. Okay, so there's really no difference in what I'm going to show you. Okay, now let's do the first one. Okay, so again, I'm just going to do this one times these two, right? I'm going to distribute the 6m with these two, so the first and the outside. And then I'm going to just jump to this one and do the same thing, distribute the one across these two, which is going to give me inside and last. So there's the FOIL method right there. It's just the distributive property twice, okay? So again, if I do this, it's going to give me what? 6m times 4m is 24m. And then 6m times negative 3 is going to give me minus 18m. And then 1 times 4m is just 4m. And 1 times negative 3 is just negative 3, so minus 3. And now I'm going to add the two middle terms, so I get 24, ooh, squared, sorry, just that one, 24m squared. So 24m squared minus 14m minus 3. And that's it. So let's do the next one. The next one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to distribute the 2x across these two, and then I'm going to distribute the 7 across these two. So 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times negative 7 is minus 14x. 7 times 2x is plus 14x. Look at that. These two cancel out. And then I get 7 times a negative 7 gives me a minus 49. Okay. Let's do the last one. So notice that I'm going to do these two first, and then we got a third one. Okay, so let's do these two first. So again, I'm going to write this out. I'm going to carry the, uh, I'm going to carry the r squared along, and so this is going to give me r squared three r three r times three r is nine r squared, and then plus three r times a negative two is going to give me a negative six r, right? And then now 2 times 3r gives me a plus 6r, and look at that, those cancel. And then I'm going to end up with a negative 4 at the end. And now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute again just the r squared. So now it just becomes 9r to the fourth minus... 4r squared. And that's it. See you next time.